Hey, what's going on? Shane at Shane Hubbard Fit, where we teach you how to lose weight without counting calories or doing exercise you hate. Today's topic is going to be the three biggest mistakes that women make when trying to lose weight. All right, so let's go ahead and dive right into it. So the very first mistake or the most common mistake that I see women making when they're trying to lose weight is slashing calories far too low. So I'm gonna use some num numbers to help make this make more sense. Let's pretend that you're eating 2000 calories a day, your weight is staying the same, your pants size isn't changing, so everything is just basically baseline. The logic would be, okay, well now we have to reduce calories in order to uh, essentially lose more weight. We have to be in a calorie deficit, that's the only way it's gonna work. Well, instead of just reducing you know, 350 calories, maybe 400 calories total to start with, what most women do is they just start cutting out all the food in their diet for the most part, maybe just enough to keep them alive, which is, you know, a lot of times like an eight to 900 calorie deficit. So that's a very low calorie diet. That's a huge deficit. And, you know, initially they might lose a lot of weight. You might actually lose, you know, like five or six pounds, maybe 10 pounds, but body will adapt to that. Your metabolism will adapt to eating that many calories. So guess what you have to do again? You have to slash calories again. Well, there's only so far you can slash calories before it becomes unsustainable and, un and unuseful to you. It's just not a good strategy long-term. By slashing a bunch of calories at the very beginning, you actually shoot yourself in the foot for long-term fat loss, which is why when you initially lose weight, it's very hard to lose more weight after that. So here's what you do instead. Let's use that 2000 calorie example again. Let's say that you start at 2000 calories. Instead of thinking that more slashing more calories is good, start thinking that, okay, I just need to slash enough to create a de deficit. Then when my body adapts again, I slash again. And I slash again, and you just keep going down this road. You know, you, there's obviously an end to that road, but you just do that in increments that make more sense. So you can continue you losing body fat throughout the course of your journey, essentially. All right. Big mistake number two that women make when trying to lose weight is not strength training. All right, there, there seems, seems to be a common uh, misconception that if you are going to lift weights, you're going to get big and bulky and turn into the She-Hulk. <laughs> Well, you know, that's not, if you, if that is something that can happen, then that's not going to happen for a very long time. It's certainly not going to happen overnight. So lifting heavy weights isn't necessarily going to make you like this big bulky woman. All right. Um, lifting weight, heavy weights is actually very important for toning muscle, right? When I talk to my female clients, a lot of times they'll use the word tone. I want to tone my muscle. Well, you don't tone muscle by, you know, doing the paint dumbbells in the in the women's only section, you tone muscle by building it and making it more dense. And you have to do that through heavy lifting, moderate lifting, and light lifting. So it's important to prioritize all three types of lifting as opposed to just doing cardio, which we'll actually talk about later. The solution to that is to simply just get started. If you're someone who hasn't been strength training, if you're a woman out there who hasn't been in a gym or hasn't been weight lifting weights, or maybe right now you're intimidated by the gym, but there's stuff you could do at home, whether it's in the form of body weight or whatever, start there, all right? Don't obsess over cardio to lose body fat. It hasn't been shown to be effective, so why do it? Why do something that isn't, hasn't been shown effective to lose weight to lose body fat? So that's what I recommend, is I recommend that you get into some type of strength training. And if you're trying to figure out exactly how to you know, position all this, just think how many hours a week can I commit to exercise? If it's three, if it's four, if it's two, make sure that the ratio of strength training to cardio is at least two to one or it is the majority of the time you're spending in the gym. So if you can work out four hours a week, make sure three of those hours are strength training and maybe one hour a week is cardio. So that's kind of how I would position it if I were you. All right, the third biggest mistake that I see women making when trying to lose weight is completely getting rid of carbohydrates. All right, while I think it's a good idea to slowly reduce the amount of carbohydrate carbohydrates you're consuming if you're trying to lose weight because you don't want to drop protein and you don't want to drop fat. If you drop protein, it compromises your ability to build muscle or to at least maintain muscle mass. And if you drop fat too low, your hormones are going to be all whack. And we don't want either of those two things. So the only other macronutrient that we have is carbohydrate. So I do think it's smart to adjust your carbohydrates and use that as a way to reduce total calories. But I, I think that the all or nothing approach is, is not a very strong st strategic strategic method for making this happen. So here's what you do instead. Instead of just dropping all carbohydrates, first make sure that the carbohydrates you're consuming are from whole food sources, rice, potatoes, things like that, and not like chips, crackers, cookies, you know, tons of pasta, tons of breads. Make sure they're whole food carbohydrates, right? Whole food carbohydrates are going to help keep you more full. 
one of the, the biggest kind of complaints about carbohydrates from, you know, whether it's my clients or just doing research online is that carbs don't fill them up. They don't make them feel full, right? Well, that's because a lot of the processed carbs don't have any fiber in them. When a food doesn't have fiber, it digests very quickly, which means it's not going to, you know, keep you full for very long. So when you shift from processed carbohydrates to whole food carbohydrates, that doesn't become as big an issue. You also want to make sure that you're including fiber rich vegetables, right? That's going to help keep you along with protein more full throughout the day. So if you can prioritize that first, instead of just cutting all carbohydrates out, you're going to have a much better long term approach to fat loss. So those are the three biggest mistakes that I see women making when it comes to losing weight. Now I have a fourth kind of bonus thing that I want to make sure that I talk about here because I think it's super important. Most women overdo the amount of cardio they need to do because there's this old idea that calories burned through cardio are, are, are greater than, than with weightlifting or any other form of exercise. And it's true that, you know, hour of weightlifting compared to an hour of cardio, you tend to burn more calories through the cardio. But we're not really focused on how many calories you burn through exercise. We're more focused on maintaining muscle mass. So you can burn more calories doing absolutely nothing. So while cardio can be a nice little addition to the amount of calories you burn a day through exercise, it definitely shouldn't be the majority of time you spend towards exercise in a weight loss plan or, or in your life in general, or just to be healthy. So don't overdo the cardio. I've heard of, of women doing two hours of cardio like four times a week in order to lose body fat and they just hit a wall and they just can't maintain it anymore and they kind of get frustrated and, they, and then they binge eat and I mean not always but that can be a result of that and so what I encourage you to do is maybe one hour of cardio a week depending on what you're doing. I mean if you're doing high intensity interval training one hour is plenty because you should really only be doing high high intensity interval training for you know 10 to 20 minutes if you're really you know doing it right and then you know things like low intensity cardio like walking or hiking I mean, you could do that for multiple hours if you wanted to but typically speaking don't spend a ton of time doing moderate to high intensity cardio all right it's it's a good addition on an already solid foundation of weightlifting but it shouldn't be the priority of exercise that you get so anyway thanks a ton for watching today's video i really do appreciate it. if you have any comments questions or concerns make sure that you put the comment section put them in the comment section down below and then if you don't mind like this video and share it with somebody who is also trying to lose weight maybe you have a friend out there who's a woman and she's trying to lose weight and she's frustrated or, or she's just getting started and you want to give her the best advice possible, make sure you share this video with her. Or if you're a guy watching this and you've made it this far, share it with a, a woman in your life that you know could really use it if, if that's their goal is to, is to lose weight and to tone up. So anyway, thanks a ton for watching today's video. I will see you in a future video.